Hi, welcome back or welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a YouTube short using Adobe Express from start to finish. There will be a link in the description below if you want to check it out. If you do decide to buy something, it does help out the channel, but you can do this for free. Now, more well, the basics of it for free. I'll go into it as we go along. So, what you want to do is hit view all under, you know, create new project, view all. That way you can view all the templates they have to offer, okay? And these are nice if you're doing something like Instagram, Reels, or TikToks where you can pick the starting image. But as of making this video, YouTube Shorts, you can't exactly pick per se where you start off. I mean, there's a few cheeky tricks, but Anyway, nonetheless, what we want to do is look at all these different categories on the left right here. We want to click on animated. And if you want, you can also click on free. So it shows only the free options along with animated. But we are going to show other options. Now, like I said, there are free options, there are paid options, but we, we are going to start from this one, okay? Now, the reason we chose this is because it's animated, okay? Then this is kind of where we want to start off. So, um... I'm going to change, uh, you can change all these fonts here. Like I'm going to change this to something like this. And then, so we got that there. We changed this to this. Let's see. And then we can also change this font. And then even if we hit play back, it right here shows this here. Now we actually are going to, you know, bring this up to the front. And simply how we do that is we just drag this over here. Um, let's see, this will be first here. And then this will be here. So now we should be able to play this and then it's there just the way we want it. But let's say we want to, uh, no, we don't want to change much at all. But let's say we don't per se want this, you know, pink here, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, pink isn't terrible, but I think I want to go with like either this or this. Yeah, I think I think I'll stick with it just being the color black. You can't go wrong with that color, I feel. Okay. And then we just will click here, change this also to black, and then click this here. This is a shadow. When I change this as well, this is also the same shadow. We're going to change this as well. And then finally, we're going to change this as well. So now they are all changed per se the way we want it. Now we can change the image a little bit. We can remove the background altogether. We can 
add a bit of fill to it. Let's actually go ahead and add some filters. See how we like it there. Okay. Like this. This is a grayscale filter, which I think really is not bad at all, honestly. Um, let's see, grayscale versus darken. I think just darken is okay for colorize. Colorize is interesting, but I think we are just going to go to darken. Actually, you know what? We're just going to keep it the way it is, honestly. No need for filter, honestly. It's perfectly fine the way it is. But with that said, we are going to blur a little bit. I think this looks good. Let's play it. Going to create awesome content. I am. Re daily reminder to self. Okay, so the, this is, I think this is good because basically I did find something on here. And then I feel like, I feel like we actually sort of remade it towards what we were, you know, thinking of ourselves yeah i think i think this will work good since it is a youtube short though i am going to move everything up just a little bit more because you know youtube short and now let's play it see where it stands okay Okay, you know what? This is good. This is good. And then after you get the way you want it, like I said, you can play around with these here and whatnot. But once you get the way you want it, you will want to hit download. And then you can download it as an MP4, a transparent background, a JPEG, a PDF, or a PNG. We only download it as an MP4. And of course, while it's here, I could just, you know, upload it exactly as it stands to YouTube. But what I'm going to do is download this. I created and then I'm going to open it up in something like Final Cut Pro or some editing software and just simply add some music to it. You can even add music to it on YouTube itself. You don't have to actually have any fancy program. YouTube's editor program actually currently let you just add a single song so keep that in mind but yeah i'm going to end it here hopefully this has helped you in some way shape or form and with that said i will catch you guys in the future later mm -hmm.